I swear to God, this freaking game launched like two freaking days ago, man. What are you guys doing? Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace and this is a, uh, uh, it, was, it was supposed to be a Grimlight video, but like I can't even get into the freaking game. And so my dudes, I guess this is going to be one of those videos. One of those videos where we have a look at the total shit fest that has happened since the launch, uh, alleged launch. Because scrolling through this now, Holy crap, what the frick happened here? And so guys, this is gonna be kind of like a TLDR as to this crazy, crazy launch. To be honest, it's made me pretty curious about the game itself. But my guys, to kick things off, on the 7th of July, Grimlight, the game that we couldn't get into, went for a global launch. And as you can see over here, there were a lot of login issues. Most people couldn't get in. They were getting the exact same error message that I was just getting. And so what happened after that was that they essentially went into maintenance for I believe the next 26 hours in which they actually added a lot of compensation. So if we go here, you can see plus nine, plus 10, plus 11. And then we're gonna go all the way to, I don't, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it goes to like plus 26, see, plus 22 over here. And they're still going, still going, still going. But along the way, as you can see, they do actually address this and they are very, very self-aware. Like this whole thing is on fire kind of thing. And if I scroll back a little bit, you will see this message over here. Hello dreamers, as you might be able to tell, we are late, very, very late. Everything is on fire. Yes, that's, um, that's, that's fair enough. I suspect this game got a little bit more hype than they were actually anticipating. And so everything went into the shits, right? However, additionally, on top of that, they actually are compensating for every hour that the game is down. They added memory shards, which I suspect is the rolling currency. So what that means is that when this game finally goes online, uh, hopefully, hopefully the rerolls are going to be a lot easier considering there are probably going to be about, I think like 26, maybe 36 rolls. But yeah, that's kind of where I thought it all kind of ended. The server came up, there were about like 34 rolls for you to reroll with. And keep in mind that they don't let you have guest accounts. And for me, I'm kind of like, oh, not really sure about that one, man. And so yeah, as you can see over here, 34 total memory shards that is a lot of rolls to actually go ahead and re-roll with however um it gets kind of worse so the tldr is that they thought they fixed it over here and then uh it turns out it wasn't really fixed and then they pushed out another fix and then down 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 it looks like it's actually running pretty well for a, a day or two a little bit and then it goes down again and then it comes back up uh <laughs> God, what the frick? <laughs> and so how the story ends is that they decided to go back to open beta so that they can work on all of these issues. Now, what has been consistent throughout all of this is that they were actually very, very responsive, very, very communicative. As you saw before, they did the whole like plus 14, plus 15, plus 16, plus 17, 18, 19, blah, 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 because they did not want to kind of go radio silence. And I have not seen a dev that has actually done this. I've got to be honest, like this level of communication has actually made me interested in this game before this i like this game was not even on my roadmap however i have to say i am now kind of interested you know i will actually give this game a shot so on top of going back to open beta they do have a couple of other changes such as the server improvement period where they're hopefully 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 going to take two weeks to sort out all of these issues which honestly that's quite a long time i think everything else is pretty self-explanatory where we have the open beta refunds like if they didn't give refunds it'd be kind of weird compensation which is a good thing and data server delays no data wipe which is actually quite interesting and la di da di da etc etc so we go on for a little bit they are actually able to play the game well other people not me and then that is going to bring us to now which uh this was about 10 minutes ago um <laughs> going into maintenance again oh my god i feel so sorry for these guys holy crap what a freaking train wreck eh but yes that's kind of where we have landed i I, I, want, I want to talk about something and I want to talk about this whole concept of man this communication is fantastic I'm gonna like really go in deep into this game what I do want to say is that although the communication has been on point and it's you know it's it's actually kind of funny I have seen some people that are like oh man I'm gonna drop a hundred dollars into this game because the communication is so good and stuff like that um I don't know about you guys, but like I play games for the gameplay and the enjoyment, right? I'm not saying that this is a crap game. I don't even know. I haven't even played it yet. I can't even get through the door. However, what I will say is that you can't just judge a game by its communication. I know this is like 
almost a special precedent. Like I've never seen a GM be so responsive. But my guys, what I'm trying to say is that try the game first. I know the communication is fantastic. It's top tier. I haven't seen anything like it, but try the game first before you drop mad stacks. But holy crap, what a freaking dumpster fire. I feel so sorry for these guys and kudos to GM White Rabbit and the rest of the Grimlight team on how they're handling this. Although to be honest, I really don't know how they're gonna come back from this. A 2.8 stars, 50K downloads, man. Oh. Yikes. However, my guys, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. I was going to actually go in and try the game out and tell you guys what I thought despite all of these issues. But, but as you can see, I couldn't even get into the freaking game itself. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me how the game actually is if you've managed to get in. And so that is indeed the secret question. Let me know how you guys feel about this game. Uh, if you did manage to get in or if you didn't manage to get in yet and you guys see this fiasco and the really great communication, Will you give it a shot? Does that kind of compel you? Well guys, let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up dropping something, I really would appreciate that. If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell. However, as uh, as this error message once said, uh, network error failed to reach server. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>